Good morning, everyone, and good night of Shabbos. We are continuing here in Bilvavi Mishkan Evna, trying to figure out if the path that we have chosen in Avodis Hashem will bring us to Kirvas Elohim. And he writes, Don't say, well, many people have done this before, and they succeeded. You can't just look from a distance and say, well, Rav Eliashev did like this, and the Briskarov did like this, and Rav Chaim Kanievsky did like this. So you see, they were very successful. So you know what? I'll just follow in their footsteps as well. Rather, he says, you have to go to an actual person that you can come in contact with, and you could understand the Mahalach, the way in which they're serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And don't rely upon what you hear from here and from there. You can't just, you read a book about a one of the G'dayla you saw, the great leaders of Klal you saw, you say, you know what, I'm going to do just like him. I'm going to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to learn Torah 16 hours a day and the rest of the time I'm going to be involved in davening and chesed and that's how I'll become Kirvas Elohim. It doesn't work like that. That works for that gadol, and it works for that person, it works for this brother or sister that you have, how they're succeeding in their Avodah Hashem. But you need to understand what is the path of Avodah Hashem for you. Every person must clarify their path in the deepest way possible for themselves. And you have to dive in, and you have to pour out your heart very much to Hashem. She Loi, help me, Hakadosh Baruch. I want Kirvas Elokim. I want to get close to you. Help me. V'yichavin Oisel LeEmes. You should direct me in the path of truth, which is where I would like to go. She Yiskel LeDerech Amitis. I should merit the true path. She Tikarav Oisel LeKutchebichu. That will help me to get close to you, Rebbeinu Nishal. And that's what I'm asking for. Don't make it up. Don't learn out from what somebody else did with their life. You need to go to someone that can understand you and you can work and work and work with your tefillahs, with your prayers, with your begging and requesting and beseeching of Hashem. Figure out what is the right derech, the right path for me that will bring me close. V'yafi my derech is, And even if the path that you've chosen is true, you still have to daven to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Please, Hashem, help me understand properly what exactly it is that you need me to do over here so I could succeed. Many times, the path is true. But he, the man himself doesn't understand what exactly does HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Mean. He figures it out. He has clarity. He puts his koiches, he takes all of his abilities and his strengths and his potential and his talents, he puts them all into perspective. And he says, that's what I got to do. But he doesn't understand how to do it. Saif Dabra, the end of the whole matter is, a person has to choose a clear path. That is going to bring him to a position of dveikus, of being close to Hashem. And then keep asking Hashem, davening, begging Him very much, that I should be zeichet to the proper pathway, that is going to be appropriate for me. Says Bilvavi Mishkanevna, work and work and work, clarify, understand what Hashem wants of you. And when you get to that point of clarity, Keep davening that you should be able to follow along on that path in the right way all the days of your life. Otherwise, you're going to keep getting taken off the path and will never achieve the levels of kirbas elokim that our neshamas desire. May we be zeichem yitz Hashem to figure out, again with the help of our rabbanim and the help of our peers and people that we trust, that they are, they are interested in our best interest as well, how we're going to steig and grow in the Vodas Hashem. And in that Zechus, we'll figure it out, we'll have clarity, and then keep davening to Hashem, help me Hashem, to fulfill my tafkid, my purpose in this world, which is Kirvas Elohim, 
on my level in the way that you created me to be. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.